Welcome. We had a lot of fun this last week looking at the ways that our pets are the same and ways that our pets are different than their wild cousins. There is really so much that we can learn by watching animals both in and around our homes. This next week we're going to be looking at all the different habitats around where our instructors live. We're going to start out by taking a visit back to my park. This tiny bird is a swallow. They are enjoying the insects that hatch from our beaver ponds. Let's see if we can sneak up on anything here around our beaver ponds. There's so many things that are appreciating what the beavers have created for them. Boop! <laughs> Did you see me? I shook a little bit because it startled me. That, did you hear that frog and see that jump? That's pretty awesome. Another frog jumping. Frogs are one of the creatures that really enjoy these beaver ponds. It may be hard to see, but there's lots of tadpoles in here. And when you hear that squeak and plop, you know a frog just jumped into the water. When I see a spot like this that's all flattened down in the middle of high grass, I can make a pretty good guess that some deer might have spent the night here. We've had a lot of rain over the weekend, and you can see that even though a lot of time has passed, these beaver ponds are still really full. I'm not sure I can see any new action here. It looks like they haven't added to their dam but it is certainly right up to the top with water. As I walked by, I noticed that there was a tree down that I don't remember being down before. Can you see that? I can't see the base of it to see if it's been chewed by a beaver or maybe there was something else involved, but the leaves are still a little bit green, so I think it's something that's happened pretty recently. And since it's right next to the beaver pond, it might have been a beaver. Some things haven't changed much at all. This trio of bachelor mallards have been hanging out here all spring long. They've got a great place to perch there. This plant with its crazy droopy spiky flower heads is one I haven't seen here before. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I wonder what that flower is going to look like. We saw the other week that our salmonberry is pretty much done. But this thimbleberry is just starting. You can see a flower, and then on this side you can see the little bits of the berry that are starting to form. As time has passed, some plants have completed their flowering cycle. Look at these crazy seed heads on here. And some are just beginning. It's part of the fun of walking in my park is seeing what's different than it was last week plant that always makes me smile. This is called inside out flower. Can you guess why? Those flowers are pretty different than a normal flower. Can you see how the the petals kind of point the opposite way of the inside parts of the flower? It's a little hard to get it focused. It's also this is also called duck foot. Can you see why they might call it duck foot? This is an interesting spot. We could see some of this um, sap coming from the tree earlier in the season but now it's really, really flowing. And there's lots and lots of creatures that can make their living in a space like this, feeding off of that sap and feeding off of the things that are feeding off of that sap. I don't see anything there right now, but I'll have to check it later. I can't wait to see what's different and what's the same about the neighborhoods where my friends live. 